we have been asked to explain to you the three patterns of axonal degeneration observed in our study. And I thought the easiest would be to make use of domino stones, where one domino stone represents an axon and a falling domino stone, a degenerating axon. The first pattern is direct axon degeneration, where an axon is directly taken out. This is quick, irreversible. The second pattern is referred to as transsynaptic axonal degeneration. Transsynaptic meaning that pathology is transferred from one axon to the next one and so forth. This takes a bit longer. But the existence of true acquired transsynaptic axonal degeneration is still a matter of of some degree of dispute because the sign of previous studies did not permit to control for something like this, which you would quite correctly call cheating. We have therefore decided to investigate patients with epilepsy who had to undergo epilepsy surgery because we knew when patients had surgery, we could investigate them prior to surgery and on subsequent time points. And what these longitudinal data permitted us to find is the following. In patients with a small degree of brain damage, there is transsynaptic axon degeneration, which is self-terminating. In patients with a larger amount of brain damage, there is transsynaptic axon degeneration, which takes a bit longer. And we thought that the prolonged time course potentially could open a window of hope for future new protective treatment strategies because you would have time to interfere. There are a number of other interesting methodological bits in our study, which I hope you will enjoy reading. Thank you.